it's the mindset Free your mind, free your mind Mindset, free your mind, free your mind Hey, not everything that glitter is gold Not everything that's white is snow On the mindset, I just start Let them know, let them know, let them know Oh, words from the wise I just start, we will never lie Shine, we will never die. We'll forever shine. I just star, shine like the star in the sky. Some hate, some love. Run through of, of some of the highlights over the years. All right, so you're talking about Marshant, you know, Junior. We're yeah, coming back from mm-hmm. the centenary. Mm hmm. Um, Ethiopia, she um, was, she got a letter written and then she took it to all the mansions to fulfill that which was the 22 point resolution from 83 conference, right? Mm-hmm. Which is to set up a secretariat. So this was how RCO was set up 94 in Green Bottom, mm-hmm. you see? And the RCO, and me, me, meaning the rest of our central, centralization organization, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Centralized organizer. Yeah. yeah. And, and um, so we could move to even um, 95, no, mama. I mean, 96. Yeah. 96, we had a 11 night dinghy down in the Irish Pen. And in that dinghy, um, a brother of sound mind, he, he um, burned to ashes uh, one Friday night. Mm-hmm. Then, during that dinghy, the, the Queen of England, they got always gathered, and it was the 23rd of July dinghy. Mm-hmm. They, they were gathering in the, in the Buckingham Palace, and there was a lightning that struck there and out. Most of them were taken to hospital. This was in the headline. Well, right, yes, yeah. and I'm going, to, <laughs> I'm going to stop to underscore again on behalf of yourself uh, and, and those who know this, that that is actually true. 23rd of July. You can check it. Um, what the year, what's the year again? 96. 96. That um, during the Bingy, and, and of course Rastafari are making a connection. In the same way, it made a connection to what happened with the two popes who died during the Bingy. And now, the lightning that struck um, Bucking, Buckingham Palace, July 23. Note the date, July 23, during the Bingy here. And, and he's right also that many were taken to hospital. Yes, go ahead, Junior. Okay, thanks for that again. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. <clears throat> and that was where I first got my first um, official oppo- opposition mm-hmm. amongst the Naya Bingi order, where mm-hmm. during that Bingi, the elders came together and, and structured what was called the Youth Council. Mm-hmm. So I was um, nominated or selected as the security for the youth council. So that from that position it kind of because just to say that the night that brother burnt in the fire, you know, I was on the bingy ground for eleven nights. That's why he asked me to drive him to Westmoreland the Friday night and I didn't come back till Saturday. Mm-hmm. And when I came back that brother was burnt everything was like it never happened, you know? Yes. Yeah, so yes. I don't think that as a security that's probably why I took that portfolio during that time. Right. I was at that so bingy. I remember nice. that bingy very well. I was there um, when that happened. Okay. Yeah, so go ahead. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. now, um, I go back to 90... Uh, okay, 96 also is when we got our uh, observer status through the brilliance of our high priest, Bongo Wato. You see? Mm-hmm. That is another episode. But that was a major accomplishment. Yeah. towards establishing a, a governance, you see? Mm-hmm. So then, um, therefore now, let me retract. 94, when CRO was, um, RCO was put in place, um, on the international level, in, in Miami, the, the international world had decided that they was going to have a all Rastafari gathering annually. Mm-hmm. And it started in, in, in um, Miami. 94 mm-hmm. and 95 it was in um in toronto 96 it was to be in ethiopia it didn't happen in ethiopia so 97 was in st croix so st croix when the Bridgians gathered in st croix they decided they heard about the observer status that con- 
Congo Watu received. So they wanted then, okay, then let Congo Watu and the Naya Bingi House host the next um, gathering in Barbados, November 98. Mm-hmm. Now, what happened, a few executives from the Naya Bingi House in Jamaica, they took unto themselves were Sam Brown and with Sam Brown and Rasta Silva and called a counter conference in Barbados in July before the gathering and they created what was called Crow with the authority of Rasta Silva because at that time he was like the president of the RCO. That means he is the legal voice for the All Mansion in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. So when he travels to the Eastern Caribbean and sign a document with those Eastern Caribbean now to create a region, a Caribbean region, um, unity and secretariat, mm-hmm. you see? That's mm-hmm. what they did in July. Mm-hmm. And when all of them was there, all of them signed a petition against Bongo Wato and the Nyabugi House that this year or oh, that they're putting in place today is going to be the admin, the umbrella administration for the Rastafari movement. The CRO, so, the CRO then being the Caribbean Rastafari? Organization. Organization, uh-huh. Yeah. It's interesting so because it, because it's so, the, the, the acronym spells CRO, though. CRO, C-R-O, CRO. CRO, right. Yeah, Unfor- right that's now. unfortunate. See? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when Bongo Wato and 12 Asian gathered in Barbados, 1998, November, with the Crown Council to address the covenant that they had received with the United Nations, because the covenant is the agreement that the United Nations is supposed to, supposed to table with the United Nations so that they will know which rights to instruct the Jamaica government and any other government to protect our rights through the covenant that we was to create. Mm -hmm. And this is what did not happen up until now, because those brethren who gathered um, in July, they wrote a petition, signed a petition against Bongo Wato and the Bingi House that they're going to be taking over this administration. And it's been, well, I leave it, you're at that for 97, mm. 98. Um, but, but just listening yeah, to you, just listening to you, um, though, you, it sounds as if you're saying that that was a contentious issue that that created a further division within Rastafari. That was the major division, and Sam Brown died in that conference. That was that was a major um crime against the Nala Bingi order. And the theocracy government. All right. So this, this to is put a, in place. Uh huh. Go ahead. To put in place an organization that will, um, you know, put aside the theocracy order. As I says, if you Google Rastafari gathering, you will see that gathering that started in uh, our I love it um, president um, 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 Jabi was an mm-hmm. uh, 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 integral part of that. First gathering in Miami '94. Right. So, so that is Dr. Jabi of our gathering. You will see mm-hmm. that history, that close up. So to sign a petition against the Nyabingi House. So, so to be to be so clear, to before you go on, to be clear, uh, so that there is no misunderstanding, um, you're saying what happened in the Eastern Caribbean is different from that what you're talking about in Miami, with with um, led by. Um, uh, Jabi, Dr. Jabi of Dark. These are two different things, right? So that there, there's no misunderstanding. Yeah, you, 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 you say one is a betrayal. You say one is a betrayal. You're saying that what, what happened in the Eastern Caribbean was a betrayal of Rastafari. And then what, yeah. happened, and then what happened in Miami? Talk to about, uh, us about Miami. And then they intercepted the good work of what started in Miami to okay. keep an annual gathering for the rest of our right? Okay, hold a line. Hold, hold, hold a minute for me, please. All right, back with you inside of the Africa Forum. We're live to South Africa, where Junior Negus is on the phone lines. I elect of records at the Scots Pass Nyabingi, Rastafara Ancient Council Global Secretary, taking us through some of the highlights of Rastafara history over the years. Um, Junior, in the next five minutes, can you take us to right now? <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Um, five minutes. Um, well, 2000, uh, two, three spots. And that's how I got involved. And 
um, the elector of record who was Rasaibai at the time, he had resigned. So the elders asked me to take up this portfolio. 2002, I wrote a letter to the Queen where the response was in the, get the headline through um, the public defender, Mr. Hamilton. 2003, we still called in for a global reasoning to put in place the 22-point resolution, first one in place. 2005, we requested of Morgan Heritage to help us. He helped us a bit, give thanks for his help. Then 2006, we requested of the Honorable Cesar Kalanji to assist us to organize uh, us in one. That's what called the Three Light Bingy in Augustown, where is Tabernacle, and then did to set up an all mansion. It was intercepted 2007 a bit by Sister Maxine structuring up um, the, the Millennium Council. But we still work with it that 2008, we registered what was called the intellectual property rights of the Rastafari community. And this is what um, um, create a lot of what's happening up to today. Well, 2010, we met with the Honorable Babsy Grange uh, uh, the elders, you know, and and then 2011, now we have um, Sister Mitzah coming back to the uh, Bingi house, and then 2012, the Snoop Dogg come in, and he was crowned um, Baron Selassie in the light of the Trinity in our tabernacle. So from that happening, that's how we get the indigenous president coming in at the end of, after that episode, because things got really serious, we had to take drastic action to put some things in place. And then 2014, the Ganja bill came in, and that was now destroyed the whole unity, because then we have 2015, I have you uh, um, re registering what was called Rasta Unity, to usurp the, the... No, hang the, on there, hang on the there. We, no, hang on there, Junior. I, ca I cannot let you say that right. about Ras Ivy, that he was trying to usurp anything. Um, okay. So we, we apologize to Ras Ivy for that. Um, but you're saying that he registered um, Rastafari Ainity? Ainity, yeah. Yes. And then <clears throat> at that time we had the cannabis because Rasta, now there's three people with rights to ganja, which is the medical, the institution for research, and sacrament. Mm -hmm. So when cannabis wanted to come here to um, high times, wanted to stage that ganja show here, mm -hmm. he, he had to utilize our sacramental rights. Mm -hmm. So he had to come through the, the intellectual property rights that was registered with the Millennium Council. So this is why other organizations was created, like the Advisory Council that was created by Mark Golden. All these councils Mm -hmm. was to go around the intellectual property rights of the rest of our life. Even when the Snoop Dogg was coming in, he was agreed to pay millions coming through the Millennium Council intellectual property rights. But certain individuals took him aside that they could get it for like a thousand U.S. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened there. So we have been securing the throne room of the most I from a long time since the two priest passed, mm -hmm. let's say 2000, that if they're, and trying to make a way for the community mm -hmm. to, to better itself, mm -hmm. even through the intellectual property rights, because, mm -hmm. you know, that is serious. Yeah. That alone could assist us. And mm -hmm. the Snoop Dogg coming in, um, he was willing to pay, pay millions for what happened. Mm -hmm. And um, and and the high times coming in, high times when we check the ones who are leading, where is the, the contract? Where is high times going to... Because he's got to come through us as Rasta. Mm -hmm. So we need a proper account uh, and the profit or a mm -hmm. share mm -hmm. in what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And this is how we, uh, simple people, they take things in their own hands and go around the intellectual property rights that the Millennium Council represents uh, and defeat all the good work that I and I is trying to do, like the rest of the community is so poor, you know? Mm -hmm. The rest of the community is not poor, it's just the ones them trying to do things in their own way and, mm -hmm. and, and cause... It sounds to me as if, as if you have and are describing uh, a, a splintering, for want of a better word, of... Um, not just in Naya Bingi, but Rastafari uh, generally in terms of um, the centralization or, or centralizing of, of, of Rastafari. So that, so, that, so that there is no center. 
This is what I'm hearing from right. you. Right. Right. But what we have um, learned as we start up that through the indigenous customary laws, mm -hmm. even the natural laws in Africa, that the elders are the custodian of this movement. Mm -hmm. So this is why starting to operate, not wanting to work in vain, we try to work under the authority of the Asians, mm -hmm. that they guide the administration that I and I embarked on. Even today, right now, we have in the office here, we have a meeting here, the, we have three um, different mansions that I actually, uh, you know, galvanized to come together because the ganja business in South Africa is is at, the, at a point behind Jamaica. So mm -hmm. the South African community don't want what happened in Jamaica to happen in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And what so and what and, and, and what in what in particular would that be? What 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 happened in Jamaica? What happened in Jamaica was that, um, um, not calling the minister's name, but he, he created what was called an a, a, a advisory council. Well, well you can it's call his name because that is in the public um, domain. You can call his name. The Mark minister. Golden. Yes. Mr. Mark Golden. Yes, he created well, a, remember, an advisory council. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. And this was influenced through Paul Chung because we have a, 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 a Rasta community down there in Jamaica, it's called RRC, Rasta Reform Community. Mm -hmm. These are the homosexuals. Oh, please. Okay. I, listen, you have, uh, Junior, I, 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 I'm going to say to you, please do not do this. It's not necessary to, to talk about people's sexuality or to, to throw dirt or to throw mud. It, it really is not necessary to do that. So um, you're saying that there is another organization um, here in Jamaica called the RRC, and you're saying they worked along with Mark Golding? Right. They were the biggest influence in that rest of our high council. Mm -hmm. And this is what gives certain people handling over the ganja industry, even in South Africa here, you know? Yes. A certain kind of manipulation going on. Right. So, 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 so when, South Africa right. Is look, when South Africa is looking on Jamaica, they are looking on to say that it, how Jamaica or, or the Rastafari uh, community dealt with and responded to uh, uh, um, the... the Ganja bill. Yeah, there's just a ganja bill, the, the uh, decriminalization of ganja and so on, that um, Jamaica made many mistakes. This is what I hear you saying. And so South Africa, right. South Africa is learning. The, especially, the, hmm? especially the rest of our like, community. Right. You see? And, and South yeah. Africa is they learning get... from those mistakes. So what are you doing differently in South Africa? By the government is, is at the point where they, they pass in a bill. Mm -hmm. And um, they want to. They they're willing to exempt the worship, you know, so to the rest of the community. So, mm -hmm. but the rest of the community, for example, they they presented like eight different um, papers to the government, you know. So that's mm -hmm. why we have to call everyone together and say, no, mm -hmm. can't be like that. We must have one paper. Okay. So that's what we're okay. working on right okay. now. Because it is true, and I had many, 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 many um, discussions here in this space um, before the, the decriminalization, leading up to the decriminalization, within the decriminalization process and after. And, and the question was always, how would Rastafari and the Rastafari community Community, um, be situated in this process. It seemed to me at the time that um, the Rastafari community had the answers, but that there was the kind of unity that was needed um, for that centralization of the process for uh, and on behalf of Rastafari, that that was not there. Um, I, you are right that this 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 is this is a uh, um, bothersome um, for Rastafari, even as we are looking back now in hindsight, looking at what we're seeing and that the Rastafari community really hasn't re uh, benefited and is still scrambling to make their way uh, uh, and make themselves heard within this process. So what we see are individuals, here we come again to the kind of a capitalist structure, 
within this process and, and, and the very same kind of neoliberal um, uh, policies that we see in the wider community, we see that working now within the Rastafari community in terms of how Rastafari is engaging with um, the, the ganja situation. Um, can South Africa escape this? Well, South Africa is uh, very um, serious because one thing they have that we never have was what is called IKS rights, indigenous mm -hmm. rights, mm -hmm. you know, which is enshrined in their constitution. Okay. So they have a bigger opportunity than us under the Queen system down there, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, hold the line for me. No, no. Um, let me just do this quickly and come right back. Only Optical Elements has the latest technology lenses and frames to suit your taste and budget. Visit us at 67 Halfway Tree Road, online at OpticalElementsJA.com or call 929-8284. Optical Elements, vision in style. The time by Optical Elements is... 7.44, you're inside of the Africa Forum. It is Running African and Junior Negus, I lecture for records in the Nyabingi um, here on the phone lines. He's coming um, to us live from South Africa where he himself is now engaged in a process um, of, uh, um, can we call it uniting Rastafari in South Africa, Juna? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so I, I want to come forward again to look at what can you tell us then, as the ILECT of Records, about the Scots Pass Nyabingi itself and where Scots Pass, the Scots Pass Nyabingi um, tabernacle uh, uh, and the, the controversy surrounding that finds itself today? Okay, um, thanks for that again, you know. And I want to um, bless up um, everyone in Jamaica, you know, and thank you very much for giving me this privilege because it's like I'm home for a minute on the phone, you know. Yes, yes. So I want to bless up everyone, you know, mm -hmm. and that I miss Jamaica much, but I really am preparing a place here for those who want to come home. Mm -hmm. That is our mission here. I, I like the language. So, I like the language, Junior. You're, you're, you've gone to prepare a place. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, and we have a nice place so far, you know. Yes, I have yes. a mountain top for these, for, and that you just go up there and pick up a stone, and in the stone, gold is glistening, the water wow. coming up. Because I've been trying to find a proper place where we could structure a community. Yes, and I hear so, you, I hear, I also hear the South African accent coming out for once in a while there from you. So you've been, you're catching on to the accent. <laughs> <laughs> you're catching yeah, on to the accent. They have, yeah, they yes. have some nice ways of talking. Yes, you know, yes, I, I hear. I like to learn the Zulu, yeah. the Zulu, some of the Zulu, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah. All right, so, so to the question of Scott Spass. Um, Scott Spass, no. Um, let's take it from like, 2003, Sister Rita Marley came to Scott's Pass. I was there. She says that, listen, that time we had a, a wooden tabernacle mm -hmm. uh, uh, there. She said she's going to need this spot where the tabernacle is to build her house so we can go and build a tabernacle around the back or somewhere like that, right? Mm -hmm. Or up on the hill. Mm -hmm. She made that clear. Mm -hmm. So when she came back, when she was ready now for her place, she came back of maybe about 2011 or somewhere after there. Mm -hmm. So when she came now, she's seen a major concrete tabernacle. Mm -hmm. She sees a major office structure. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't there at the time, you know, and let's um, say big respect to the Honorable President Susan Kalanji mm -hmm. and big respect to Ras Ayavai, you mm -hmm, know, because mm -hmm. those two persons are my two people that I respect so much, mm -hmm. you understand, mm -hmm. as a youth coming up, yes. you see? Yes. So when Sister Rita Marley came to, I was an underground, um, Susan was an underground. Mm -hmm. It was Ras Ayavai who was underground, so mm -hmm. Ras Ayavai took Sister Rita Marley um, for a tour around the land. Mm -hmm. So Sister Marley, Sister Marley look at the office structure and the tabernacle and he says, who is responsible for building these structures? You know, because these structures is now going to be a problem to her. Mm -hmm. So now she's going to have to come to the idea that she's going to fence off that portion. Okay. See? So she says, 
I would like to speak with Sizzla. That argument came to me. I arranged the meeting at the museum. So when she, so when she, so when she asked, you said when she asked who was responsible for building, she was told it was Sizzla. Yeah, Ras Ivai told her, told her it was Sizzla. Uh huh. And so she, so she says she wants to talk to Sizzla. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when when I heard or we heard, we arranged the meeting at the museum. Mm -hmm. Congo Daniel as the founding father of Scott's Pass because it was him who built the tabernacle, the original tabernacle, two years before the community came. Congo Daniel was the man who spent his money, you know, that's why he would um, like hand over to like Sizzler to assist him as another money man because mm -hmm. they're money people. Mm -hmm. So anyways, we went with Daniel because Daniel was the one who, who, who was up front with Sister Rita Marley about receiving that land, mm -hmm. you see? Yeah. And um, when we went to the museum, it was Sister Rita Marley, myself, Congo Daniel, and the Honorable Sisla Kalanji, mm -hmm. you see? Yeah. So we sat there in the office. She, there was one lady that teaches Amharic. She was in and around the office, right? Mm -hmm. So when Sister Rita Mahali says to Sizzla, Sizzla, I want to put the, the that five acre of land where you build on in your name so that she can guarantee that the tax will be paid. You mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. So Sizzla suggested to her that maybe you could get the council a, a gathering of a, a committee of ancients mm -hmm. to put it in their name. She says, no. I want it in Miguel Collins' name. So she called the secretary, because she was in the place at the time. She's in a separate place. Mm -hmm. So she called her in, and this secretary, I think is a very good friend of our brother Bujo Bantan. Mm -hmm. She probably could be the only witness to what I'm saying mm -hmm. as the secretary. Mm -hmm. Sister Rita call her and tell her, listen, um, I want you to notify like the lawyer and... and that this land must go in Miguel Collins' name. I don't know if it went any further. Mm -hmm. So when we went back to Scott's Pass now, the word kind of get out, because I like to talk. I can't keep secret when it comes on to rest of things, you see. So the word got out, and I think certain people was very disturbed that if the land should be in his name. Mm -hmm. So it caused a, a lot of different things. But leading up to the different, different things, there was a time when the tax collector came to the ground at Scott's Pass to find out about the tax. Mm -hmm. um, one of the brethren, he kind of tried to hide that from me and took it to that little brother at the front there and the brother take it to the other brother in Nathan there mm -hmm. to, to see that, listen, we don't want these things because the tax is coming now directly to Scott's Pass. Mm -hmm. So when I found out that was what they, the, I contact the tax office, yeah, the tax needs to be paid. So I went to the land agency in Kingston up at one of those, close to Micro College, and got the, 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 the number of the land, because I went to the Honorable Cesar Kalanji, let him know what was happening, and the, he, and tell him that, well, we decided to pay the tax. So he gave me five, two, 20,000 Jamaica dollars to go down to the tax office and pay on the land at Scott's Pass. Mm -hmm. I went down there, I needed the number, that's why I went to the land agency, get the number, came back and paid $20,000 on the land tax at Scott's Pass in Miguel Collins' name. You see? So, so are you saying, uh, uh, so you pay the tax in Sizzler's name. What does that mean? It means the receipt is in Sizzler's name, but the land mm -hmm. in the Rit Sister Rita's name, the tax was paid. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So following up on that now, um, we realized that um, 2014, right, after the pinnacle situation, for some reason, eviction was was handed down to us at Scott's Pass, including um, 
Mama Shanti, that, that caused an incident, Sister Catherine had to get involved for them to, you know, mm -hmm. say, okay, Mama Shanti. But when they send the, one of those eviction notices to Michael Record, who is Bongo Daniel's son, Bingy Mikey, as the Honorable call him. Yes. Bingy Mikey, right? Mm -hmm. um, I said, no, this is getting out of hand. Because I was talking to Stefan along the way on the phone while... You're talking, you were talking, you were talking to who? You were talking to who? Um, Sister Stefan. Oh, Stephanie Marley. Right. Okay. And, uh -huh. and trying to arrange a meeting with her and the elders. Mm -hmm. And he was doing that and doing that. But when the, the, the notice came to Mikey, because Mikey's got his place there, Bingy Mikey. Right. You see? Michael record. Yes. That's when I took his paper now and gathered the other eviction notice and consulted with the president, Cesar Kalanji, and then went and seen um, um, the lawyer? Nana Barrington. Yes. Because Nana Barrington is a solicitor. Mm -hmm. All lawyers and Barrington and, and, and barristers work and they don't have the qualification of a solicitor. Mm -hmm. A solicitor is a, a British trained, uh, you see? <laughs> so she is not a joke person to deal with any case. So when I took that Michael Records to her, with Michael Records eviction, and she drafted the paper and filed it in the high court, you see? That's when Sister um, Stephanie says, and, and then there was another case in Porus, where, where, I don't know what happened in the court there, but they was advised by the court, the, 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 the Honorable Marley family, mm -hmm. that it's best for them to go and talk to the Rastas because the Rastas have a serious case. Mm -hmm. You see, that was another local case there in Porus. So when I filed that case in the high court with Sister Nana Barrington, same time, Sister Stephanie now says, the meeting I was trying to arrange with her, she says, no, we can't speak again because now this is a court matter. Mm -hmm. So now she started to, um, at the same time, I think her husband, which was um, the Honorable Alan Skilko's mm -hmm. son, Ras mm -hmm. Ali, he was one of them who was, so he suddenly died right in the middle of all of those things. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's that or the fact that they called off the, 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 the assault. Mm -hmm. They called off the whole thing. She starts calling Mikey, and she and Mikey know his friends talking good, 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 and all kinds of things going on. So I thought everything was okay. Now, the moment I came out of Jamaica, these people come back on the, the land with eviction notice. They evicted everyone off the land to leave by May 19, 2020. Up until weeks, while you, I even listened to your program when you was dealing, because I think you was the one who mentioned that uh, May 19th is actually uh, Malcolm X day, and, and for to use a day it like that. It was an that, unfortunate, it was an unfortunate date, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was the eviction mode. Nobody in Jamaica said nothing. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, the ones on the land was preparing to leave. You see, there was no problem. There was no cry out. So when I see there was no cry out from no one, then I stood here and I wrote a letter to the lawyer as the Haitian Council Secretary and retained her to put a stoppage to that kind of a eviction. Mm -hmm. And um, I had to retain her. I opened a GoFundMe on Facebook thanks to her sister, um, Queen Mother Tia, Mm -hmm. in America that um, facilitated that um, GoFundMe, and we come up with a, a thousand U.S. and gave it to, to the lawyer. Mm -hmm. So along the way, they, the lawyer has been attacked physically through all kinds of scientific way. Um, people had sent to entrap her, sent, sent her false um, client to entrap her, all right, so that's, that, that's, that's some serious allegations that you're making there. I know that I've heard these elsewhere. I have not reported on them because she herself hasn't um, come on to, to talk about what has happened to her. She's an attorney, 
and so she knows how to deal with this particular issue um uh, and she knows that there's a space for her to to respond to those issues and to say um whether or not uh, and what really happened so i won't have you as um as her mouthpiece in this space um saying that and 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 cast it because when you do that the question then is who's entrapping her etc etc and and you're pointing fingers immediately without saying who because you really can't say who and i really don't want that kind of um situation on in this space we're trying to, to get to the bottom of something we're trying to understand something and um what you have done today is that you've shed a whole lot of light um i recall uh last week and we have just about two minutes left really um but i recall last week um that Sizzler said you weren't at the meeting at um, at the Bob Marley with, with the, at the Bob Marley Museum. You have said this morning that you were at the meeting, um, that you were there when um, Nana Rita called um, the secretary and asked her to um, to put the land to ensure that the land is put in to ensure that the lawyers are spoken to uh, and the land is put in. In, in Sizzler Colange's, in Miguel Collins' name. Um, so you, you're, you're helping us to shed some more light on what happened at Scott's Pass to take, okay, us, so to take us where we are yeah. now. Um, so so, yeah, so yeah. what are your views in a minute um, on where we are now and what would you like to see happen? Okay, well, because the lawyer got a stroke, she had to go to... Cuba. Mm -hmm. So she was absent. So that's why the case was ruled no oh. contestant. Oh, I see. I so see. now that yeah. so now that she's back on the island, mm -hmm. she is requiring a, a, some funding to urgently because she still has not gotten no funding. So it's yes. still about funding the lawyer to secure the land mm -hmm. because the land was to be secured now by the four. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, people who was living on the land mm -hmm. under what they would call squatters' rights. Because mm -hmm. if somebody, since um, other people are not going to defend us, then the, us on the land who live on the land mm -hmm. would defend the land. So you're it? saying that this, is still, a, this is still a process that the lawyer is going to be taking up this again um, and, 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 and our hearts to her, we didn't know she had a stroke. Um, so you're saying that, but the, the process is that she will revisit this once she's back and you're saying she's back now right about right. a week and she has to she cannot take too long to file the the paper because mm -hmm. she's filing the paper that she was sick and now she's back in the island so she can't okay. be back in the island All so right. she needs urgently some money All right. so um so that's basically where it's at but i would yes. if i have time to we, we're to we're totally out of time oh you want to say bless up somebody quickly quickly mm -hmm. <laughs> we're totally right. out of time. Yes. well i just want to bless up my baby mother um shania and my youth and you know all the virgins and sisters in jamaica and south africa and i have been given trying to defend the tea across the other mm -hmm. you know more power to each and everyone should the power Subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just saw the mindset. Bash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just saw the mindset. Bash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just saw the mindset.